Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's video tutorial, I will be sharing with you how to draft your own Celtic knot designs using electric quilt. And I will even share with you how to place that in a quilt. Okay, I've opened electric quilt. I'm going to open an existing project and I'm going to find the Irish chain quilt that I've uh, been putting projects in for the last couple of weeks and I will select OK. And I'm going to close my project sketchbook and I will select design a block from scratch. And for this block, I'm going to make it an applique motif, which basically means it's an applique shape, but it doesn't have a background. And so I will do a new block applique motif. For the precision toolbar, the block width and height are six, uh, snaps, um, I really don't care. I'm going to change it to four just to eliminate some clutter. Uh, no graph paper. In terms of snapping options, make sure that Snap to Nodes is on. Um, I also want to make sure that Auto Join Segments when drawing, and I'm going to turn on Snap Aligned Segments. And I will also have on the Hide Show Auto Fill on Closed Patches. Then I'm going to go to the Tracing Image, Import Image, and I'm going to find my uh, Celtic Love Knot and there is actually a copy of this on my blog post that you can import for tracing as well. And so I'm going to uh, trim this down a bit and I will select OK under the crop image. So to create this, if you look at the Celtic Weave, there are basically three different segments. Each of these segments will need to be drafted separately. I am going to go to my drawing tools and I'm going to start with the straight segments. And so I'm going to use the draw tool and use a line. And I'm going to try to go on the outside of each of the segments. So to draft this, I will do a click and hold and drag from one corner to another. I'll release at the corners and re-click. Because Auto Join is on, as I am doing this, it will com uh, combine the segments. Now, because I have Auto Fill on, it is filling in, and that's sort of my indication that I have found the start and the end point. And if I want to, I can use the Edit tool and just clean up the nodes. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this uh, middle segment. And I can see that um, when I get down here, it's off a little bit, so I'm going to use my Edit tool and just move things into place. And I can zoom back out. Okay, so the tough one, of course, is the one with the curve. So for the draw tool, I'm going to select the brush stroke. For the contour, I'm going to select the first one, which has the same width throughout. And for my end cap, I want uh, a very flat end cap. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace a line from here to here without stopping. Now, I'm not a great tracer, but that's okay. We'll fix things later. As you can see, this isn't exactly pristine. However, when I let go, notice that EQ sort of smooths that out. Now what I can do is adjust the minimum width I can also use the Edit tool, and you can see with this that really there's three nodes. There's one here, one here, and one here. At this point, my biggest thing is I'm trying to adjust the curve and adjust the width. And if I need to make it bigger or wider, I'm going to use my Pick tool and select it and I'm going to 
bring up the minimum width just a bit. Once I've got my curve pretty well done, what I'm going to do now is select Convert to Patch. And then it's going to work very similar to any other applique patch. So I can use my Edit tool and I can still adjust, right, because the ends were not necessarily right on, uh, but I can clean that up. And I can hide show autofill so I can even get a little bit better view of that. And so once I think that looks pretty good, I'm going to turn on my Hide Show Autofill again. And I can even take that particular line and select Convert to Curve and get that to really match up. So once I have this looking good, I'm going to use the Pick tool and select this and do a clone, Rotate 90. And then I can move this into position to cover the next one. Now I can select this clone. And for that one, I'm going to rotate 180. And then I can pick this one, clone, rotate 90 again. And one more clone, rotate 90. Now I can decide if I want to make any additional adjustments. Let me hide show my image for tracing. And I'm going to take one more look to see how that seems to flow. And once I've done that, I'm going to go to the Color tab, uh, find a green, use my spray can, and I'm going to go ahead and add that to the project sketchbook. Now I decided I would put that in the one of the Irish chain quilts that I drafted uh, during the past couple of weeks. And I decided on this one, so I select Edit, and I'm going to go to Layer 2, select Motifs, and I'm going to find the motif that I just drew, and I'm going to drag it on the workspace. And I'll use the Adjust. So as I'm doing this, I do have the grid set snap increment set to one half. And now I'm just going to copy and paste and move the rest into position. And I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. And then with my adjust tool, again, I can copy and paste. And then I'm going to hide show uh, quilt patch lines to get a feel for what this will look like when it's complete. And I like that, so I will add that to my project sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to improve your own electric quilt skills, feel free to check out my online classes at www.onpointquilter.com.